Hey, hello, William. Great seeing you. Hello, teacher. Hi, Mr. William. How is it going? Mm, I'm very fine, teacher. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. How was the first day of the week? How was it? Busy or relaxed? Oh, I was I was busy at work with many activities. Yes, Mondays are like that. As is on los lunes. Yes. A lot of busy activities, doing a lot of things. Good. And uh, what about the weekend? How was it? Could you could you relax on the weekend? Yes, I I was relaxed in the weekend. I went to to uh to the cafeteria for a moment, and I did exercise. Uh, the supermarket hall. I was in my home and, and for try to rest after the after the week of work and I'm here I'm ready I'm ready for a new English class. Okay, pretty good. Excellent that you could do many things during the week, during the weekend. And during the week, in the past week. Great. Ah, so that means that you eat a lot of pastry, William. You eat a lot of pastry uh, in the cafeteria. Mm. I like me mm, viejitas. Ah, okay, viejitas. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Viejitas, coffee, and pudding. Ah, uh, pudding. Pudding is in English. Pudding. Bud uh, pudding, yes. Pudding. Bu uh, okay. Yeah, it's pudding. Uh, that's the word I know. Esa es la palabra que me sé de, de budín. Ajá, uh -huh, but we can, we can always check. Siempre se puede revisar. Uh, let's check. Put in, let's see if, uh, put in, put in, uh, ah, it's double, double D. Check. Double okay. D. Put in. Put in. Uh, yeah, that's a, a type of, uh, uh, a type of, um, Dessert. Mm -hmm. Pudding. 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 Yes. Check. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. Nice. 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 Ah, there is Gabriel online. Hello, Gabriel. How is it going to you? Hello, teacher. I was having a lot of problems to connect. Oh, really? Why? Why problems? Uh, about the uh, platform? Uh no, uh I try to to already already be um with the Zoom, but it doesn't give me to to be uh what what one step to to connect. Oh okay, I see. But finally you are connected. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Okay, no problem. Uh, and how was your weekend, Gabriel? Uh, what did you do? Anything different, interesting, maybe? Uh, well, um, uh, well, on, on Saturday I was, um, I was, um, oh, I had to to go with my brother to to the hospital to. Oh. to um uh how do you say uh, to live to uh have a, a hemodialysis oh i'm really sorry about it yeah yeah oh. and then i i had to to pick up my wife from the other hospital because he was visiting uh uh, a primo seria how do you say a primo cousin, in English? Cousin. A cousin, right? Yeah. Oh, and okay. on Sunday, um, we have to to relax. 
Okay. And at the final, we we go to to dinner outside at home. Oh, okay. Okay, Gabriel, you were a lot busy uh, during the weekend. Yeah. But, but you could do all those things. Okay, pretty good. Remember that we can say relaxed. We relax as a normal verb. Why? Por qué? Ah, but first, the date. Help me with the date because this is not the correct date. Today is... Monday. Monday. Month is correct. And the date... What is uh, the date? 13th. 13th, yes. 13th, November 13th, 2023. Okay, we, we relaxed. Check. Normal verb, ED, in simple past. All right. Yes, but teacher, but why not I was? I was relaxed. Por qué no? I was relaxed. Why not? Porque ambas están en pasado. I was relaxed. Yeah, that is correct. This is simple past, and this is simple past. But remember, this is with the verb to be. And sometimes when we speak about past activities, I went to the supermarket. I ate chicken. I drank Coca-Cola, etc. We always use, we almost always, we use the ED of the, of the verbs. So it's more appropriate to use, we relaxed. Okay, but I was relaxed. Mm, yeah, but in other contexts. Para otro contexto, sí. But in this case, is this one. Okay, pretty good. Let's see who else is joined. Uh, Carlos, Salvador, welcome. Hello, Carlos. Welcome back. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Okay, guys, remember, this week you're going to complete on the platform the section number four. Number four. Only the section number four but remember, if you can advance with more assignments of the section number five, that's more than great. You can do it. Okay, pretty good, guys. Nice having you in class. Let's open your class number. What class number? You remember how many classes do we have until to date? Mm, nine. Yes, this is not the correct one. Let's close it. Uh, class number nine, correct. Yes, class number nine. Okay, let's open it. Let's see the content that we are gonna practice for this activity. You know the indications. We are not going to check them in this moment. Okay, let's see. And the skills, of course, they are the four that we practice. And the tools. Okay. Describing. Oh, describing. What did you see first? The picture or the title? What did you see first? Que vio primero? The title or the picture? Be honest. <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> what did you see first? The picture. The picture. Yes, the picture. <laughs> of course. The title is? Describing people. Describing people. We are gonna work on that. That is useful when you when you speak with your friends. Hey, what about that girl? What about that boy? And you start explaining or giving uh, people's appearance about how they look. Okay, question one. Do you know? Do you know this actress? Do you know this actress, guys? Do you know her ideas no. about who she is? Okay, I'm going to give you a clue. She appears in a movie with uh, Will Smith. That's the first clue. 
She appears in the movie with Will Smith. You know Will Smith, right? Uh -huh. Yes. They're from Men in Black. Okay. In the movie, in this movie, she appears with Will Smith. What is the movie? Ideas? Or any other movie? She, in that movie, in the same movie, she is Harley Quinn in the movie. The actress is, for you to know here, is Margot, Margot Robbie. That's her name. That is the actress. Okay, second question. Uh, if you were in the red carpet, si estuviera en la red carpet from Hollywood, I guess. If you were there checking all actresses, all actors in the red carpet, how would you describe Margot Robbie? What could you say about she in the picture? How would you describe her? Mm, she have a uh, green, green eyes. Ah, okay, good. That is one option. But remember the third person. She has. She has. She has, correct. Because have is I have, you have, yeah. she, she yeah. has, correct. She has green, uh, eyes. green eyes. Correct. That is one option. Correct. You can use the verb have. Another option uh, in describing people? She has blonde hair. She has blonde hair. Okay. The same structure, right? The verb we ever have. Yes. Remember, you can use the verb to be with adjectives. Example, verb to be with adjectives. One example? Is it smile? Uh, she is. Ah, uh, she is a smile. A beautiful smile. Ah, uh, but in that case, the structure will be with have. Ahí sí sería con have. Porque si está hablando de la smile, you couldn't say she is a smile. Ella es sonrisa. Ah, uh, no. She has a beautiful smile, yes. But with the verb to be, pero con el verb to be, como digo, with the verb to be using adjectives. Example, simple. She is beautiful. Mm. Yes or no? Yeah, look at the picture. Yes. She is. She is beautiful. What else? Maybe, uh -huh. What else? Maybe she is tall. Es alta. Yeah, she is tall. Yeah, in fact, she is. In, in real life, she is very tall. She is, she is thin. Delgada. Thin. Ah, thin. 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 She is thin. A thin. Okay, correct. She is thin. She has beautiful eyes, etc., etc., etc. Okay, you get it. So, that is how you can describe people. Let's see. When we speak or when we talk about uh, someone description, physical description, we can describe you talk hair, hair. about the hair. hair. Uh, in, the, in the picture, who told me? ¿Qué me dijo? She has? Uh -huh. She has. She has? She has. Has a, she has a yellow, yellow hair. Yellow, yellow. Instead of yellow, we use blonde. We blonde. use blonde. Yes. What is blonde? This. What is the meaning of blonde? Ruby. Ruby. Ruby, yeah, but the person. But talking about the hair. Ruby. Ruby. Cabello Ruby, yes. Very good. What else we describe? You said it a moment ago. Lo dijo. Eyes. Eyes color. Green we describe eyes. eyes color. What else we describe? She's white. Uh, yeah. Ah, in the picture, you mean? Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. But you can say, how would you describe um the skin? Margot Robbie's skin. 
she is or she has? Talking about her skin. She has blonde. She has blonde skin. Blonde. Yes, possible. Uh -huh. Or she is, she is blonde. Entirely. Completa. Entirely blonde. Okay. What else uh, we describe? We describe the the height. What is height? What is height? She huh? is tall. Ah, okay. Tall is the adjective, but the height is the noun. What is height? What is the meaning of height? You know? Meaning? Altura. Estatura. Correct. Yes. Correct. Sorry. Check. Height. Height. The? Can you read the definition, please? The distance from the top to the bottom of something, or the quality of being tall. Of being tall. Okay, but tall is the adjective. Any height is a noun. It's a noun. It's an, that is the difference. Adjectives and nouns. Okay. Uh, what else can you describe when talking about someone's appearance? This is the higher length. Hey, hey. Higher length. What is length? Uh, too long, uh, large. Yes. Yes. Correct. correct. The large about your hair, not about you. Okay. Yes. That's why is hair length. That's right. Uh, we describe as well the body, body shape. shape. Body body shape. Okay. The the form of the body, in other words. And finally, we describe someone's someone's face, face, face and, other parts. and other parts of the body. Correct. Okay, pretty good. Let's see. Please uh help me, uh, William with this part okay describing describing people age each each if if you are your you mind have a pension so you're an old age pensioner or a senior citizen an old person might be 60 65 years old and over before you before you're all around 55 for example, you can be middle age if you have children when you're this age. They can be young, adult, 20, 25 years of age, or teenager, 15, 19. There are other words for younger children. For example, a daughter is around one, three years old. While a baby is from zero to 12 months old. Okay, thanks. Very good. When talking about someone's age, we can use a specific words. For example, this little boy is a toddler. toddler. A toddler. What is a toddler? Toddler is. It's around one, three years old. A one, two, to three years old. And a baby is from? Zero to 12 months old. Zero to 12 months old, correct. Okay, uh, describing this girl, how would you describe her age? That you can say she is? A young, a young adult woman. A young adult woman. In we, what is the range of the age of a young adult woman? What is the range of the ages? 20, 25. Hi, it is here. Check. It is from? 20, 25 years. 25 years of age. Correct. Uh, what about this? This uh, not all men. Don't say all men because it sounds rude. What is all men? Si dice all men in Spanish, ¿qué significa all men? Hombre viejo. Anciano. Viejo. Anciano. Ah, yeah. sounds rude. Mm, no, no it's different. Así. Okay. Never. Never, no. yes. Never because it's simple. Because it's very strong. It's weird, correct. 
instead, in lugar, you can use the words. Senior. senior. He's a senior. He's elder. a senior man. Correct. Pensioner. Or elder. elder or elder. Pensioner. 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 Or elder. Okay. You can use those three words to refer these people of this age, but never all men or all women. All women, neither. Tampoco all women. Sounds rude, muy rude, impolite. Okay. And finally, the boy, he's teenager. teenager. He's a teenager. And the years of a teenager go from? Between. Ah, okay, or between? Between 13 and 18. 13 and 19. And 20, no, not anymore a, a teenager. He's a young adult. Okay, that is how you can describe uh, people's age, all right? Yep. Questions? No. This is only vocabulary you can use. Uh, uh, let's see, Carlos, next. What is the next part that you can use to describe people? Carlos? A uh, build body shape. Ah, here, the title, please. Describe build. people. Build body shape. Ah, uh, yes, the, 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 the topic. Yeah, the topic. Uh, the physical. Title. Uh, physical appearance. Yes, physical appearance. Build body shape. Uh, continue? Yeah, please. The whole. Okay. Uh, people are built in all shapes and sizes. There are those who are fat and over height. Some people are extremely over height and are obese. Other people are naturally slim. But other look have absolutely no fat of them and are thin or skinny. Uh, other words for describing people and build are stocky, small but well built. Okay, what is a stocky in Spanish? Thank you. A stocky, I guess, is small but well built. Dice que es pequeño pero bien. Definido. <laughs> uh, bien, like masoncito, right? In Spanish, we use uh -huh. many words. Aha, uh -huh. bien masicito, it says. Kind uh -huh. of like that. Okay, normal adjectives. Tall, tall, or short, lean. What is lean? With very little fat. No, what is uh, fat? No fat on them. Sin? Uh, it's a belto. Uh, correct, sin grasa, uh -huh. fat, correct, lean. Oh, wiry. Wiry. Quite thin, but muscular, athletic. Ah, check, wiry. You can use wiry. this word to describe someone that goes to the gym, for example. Next. Uh -huh. Well proportioned. proportioned. Well proportioned. Proportioned. Well proportioned. Is generally attracted in all their body. Ah, okay, nice. I am not well proportioned anymore. <laughs> I need to go mm. to the gym to be on this shape. Next. Curvaceous, curvaceous. 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 Or. For a woman. And our glass figures like a 1940s film star. An example mm -hmm. of a curvaceous woman, do you know, guys? Yes, it's when you describe a woman, this have a Spanish curvilinea. <laughs> uh -huh, correct. Because that's you... like, like Beyonce. Ah, yes. Beyonce, okay, correct. But Darkness. 1940s says, do, don't you remember anyone from the 1940s who is curvaceous? Mm. Uh huh. Yes, when you were comparing, I remember that you're comparing a uh, bottle of Coca Cola. Ah, correct. Ah, like a bottle or like a yes guitar. for your curves. Yes. <laughs> because the curves, correct. Yeah. That is the, that is. This is adjectives. All yeah. these words are adjectives you can use. Okay, continue. Fit. Fit, healthy, acti ap active. To be fit, you should take plenty of exercise. I don't exercise a lot in this moment. 
Okay, yes. finally. Flavy, when your muscle got soft. When your muscles, uh, when your muscles, muscles go soft, when they, when they fall for the gravity. What is flabby in Spanish? Ideas, meaning, significado de flabby, like. Yes, it's like. Well, and no, in flabby. Spanish is placido. Correct. Um, That's it. Flabby. Well, and, and a good Spanish, for example, El Salvador is aguado. Aguado. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Right. Okay. But yes, flabby means that. Aguado. La otra palabra. Okay. But never. Never say someone is over high or is obese. Okay. The word is overweight. Overweight. What is overweight? Oh. Sobre peso. Yes. Yep. That is impolite. Don't no use. Way. Better use a uh, kind of heavy. Heavy. Uh, heavy. She's a little bit heavy. Uh -huh. You can use heavy, but never over, overweight. Or this one, neither. Tampoco esta. Obese. Okay. What is obese? The example. You see it in the picture. Uh, the boy. Slim. Slim, Slim thin. Slim. This, this, uh, any other? This one? Skinny. He's, skinny. he's very skinny. What is skinny? Um, delgado, flaco. Flaco, but in a bad uh, context that yeah. you can see the, the bones under the skin. Okay, and the normal short and tall. Okay, pretty good. Nice. So you can use these words to describe physical appearance on people. Uh, Jensi Valle, please help me with this part. Okay. Uh, please reduce a little. Ah, because um, it's being like bigger. Um, the color. Yeah. Describe okay. The color. Okay. Yeah. Describe people. Describing people coloring. coloring. Yes, coloring. Okay, you can describe someone as an English rose is the hair of fair hair, and fair hair skin very white color of skin. Someone with this complexion doesn't dance easily and has to be careful in the sun. You can also be blondy with a fair complexion. Continue. Yeah, please. Yeah, okay. you are born with a color, wire Caucasian, black or Asian. You can also say person of color. For example, a woman of color or a man of color. To describe anyone who is no white but never use this word color red, people whose parents are or differing ethnic origin are mixes races. Some Europeans are sometimes described as um, Mediterranean. Other word for describing the sky color, and um, for example, freckles equals small brown dot on your face and arms from the sun. Or dark scanning equal a dark complexion which allows you to turn easily. Okay, thanks. Uh, look Very at the picture. This girl is? Blondie. She is blonde. Blonde. Blonde is blonde. another blonde. word that you can yeah. use uh, for referring people like hair. Blonde. Yes. Like the the singer. There is a singer who is, the name is Blondie, right? I guess. Okay, Blondie. And about men, you can say. Wire Caucasian. Uh -huh, white or Caucasia. What about the two? Men of color, men of African American. Men of American. color, or you can say African American. African American. But never, never, never. Say color. Colored. What is the meaning of colored if you say it? I hope not. Espero que no lo digan. What is the meaning of colored? Uh, it's on the from the perspective. Yeah, correct. It is the perspective a lot. Okay, so avoid it. Better use this one. Men of color or African American is better. And people from 
Asian. From this continent. They are yeah. Asian. 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 No Chinese. Some people get offended when you call them Chinese because not everyone is Chinese. Not everyone yeah. is from China. We have Coast. China. We have South Korea. We have other countries. But in the continent, they are Asian. Okay. Uh, uh, and coast. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Question, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, well, um, and what's this crying is that so, so yes, is never um, refer uh, people what uh, to reference as a color is the better to reference in a uh, geographic sound because the origin and race is most appropriate. Ah, in that case, you should make the question, where are you from? That is easy. And yeah. the person answers, ah, I am from uh, Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. how, how can I describe or what word can I use from someone from Bangladesh? So yeah. we have to investigate. But the question is, where are you from? This better. Okay, that is going to give you uh, the idea about where the person is from. Okay. But we yeah. need to know about a little bit about geography to know ah, African American, Asian, uh, Egyptian, for example. I, I remember that um, an action that my family, for example, when I traveled that Canadian, uh, my uncle told me about this. Um, and this uh, never I'm referred to other people that with well, the color or without the race. And she, uh, he uh, suggests that you, when I to introduce um, any uh, friends, uh, maybe the, my suggest is no, I should that uh, never say, ah, she's a Chinese that you say, why? Because that not all people is the Chinese. The the the, the, the Russian is Asian, for example. Or uh, never say um black men no, because the um this the this uh, person uh, listening or hearing uh, is um true that maybe is hungry. Yeah, of course. Because the reference because is discriminating. Yeah, it's discriminative, correct, okay. discriminative. Yeah, and the word is not here, but you're right, like, no, too offensive, so forget. <laughs> but yes. thank you, thank you for, These are uncommon. for that. Yeah, nice comment. So when you travel, you should be careful when you speak with people, all right? Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, uh, next, uh, next reading, please, uh, Gabriel, this part. Describing? Describing people's face. Ah, when describing about the face. Faces. Faces like built vary a lot. Some people have oval face. Their forehead are much wider than their chins. Other people have hair shape, square or round faces. Here are some more vocabulary for describing fi features. Um, bushy, age brown, lots of thick hair on your eyebrow. This is the picture about someone who has bushy eyebrows. What is bushy eyebrows? Check the picture and look at her eyebrows. She has a lot of hair on them. In Spanish, we say. So, uh -huh. in Spanish, is that when um, cejas pobladas o espesas? Uh, so, but that is in the formal way. In yes. The formal, <laughs> you know the word, I know. Uh -huh. so, in the formal, <laughs> in, the, uh -huh, in the Salvadorian. We are good. Yes, yeah, Huda saw this. Huda, yeah. correct. We are good for that. Some of one of us, but I. You know yeah. that. Yes, but in English, you can describe someone with these words. Bushy. Bushy eyebrows. 
Okay. Uh, look at the, the girl. She has uh, crooked crooked teeth. teeth. What is crooked uh crooked teeth? Here it is. Gabriel? You need to wear a brace to make them strength. strength. Ah, the gear is using in other words when you go to the dentist. Uh-huh. <laughs> need a bracket. Need a, a bracket. 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 He's yeah. using brackets because of that. Por eso está usando that. Because of the she needs to uh she needs to make her teeth is right. Parejos. Okay, more more vocabulary, Gabriel. Hooked. Ah. Um hook nose. A uh, prominent nose, nose, but not a uh, wide nose. A prominent nose. Let's see. Ah, okay. She has. Look at the form of the nose. Is irregular. Is it so similar, my? Excuse me. <laughs> it's equal to my. Ah, you have. <laughs> ah, so you can say it. Yeah. You have teacher a. Uh, a hook in nose. Ah, okay, okay, but that is not bad. <laughs> okay, it's not bad at all. Are you sure? Uh, depends on your auto scheme. <laughs> yeah, the preference, depends that girl. Ah, okay, okay. Next, next. I cheekbones. Prominent cheekbones. What is high cheekbones? What is that? Is on someone's. This part. Check. ¿Qué tiene qué? In Spanish, pómulos. Ah, sí. Yes. Big. Muchos, pero no muchos, sino mm. pómulos. Ah, que sí. resaltan. Yes. Que resaltan. Prom, prominent. Chico. Que resaltan. Yes. Prominent is a word. Okay. Next. A broad, a broad nose. Opposite of narrow nose. Who has a broad nose? Ah, uh, no. Is no. Is no nose. Uh, nose which goes up at the end. Goes up at the end. Ah, okay, Rooney, check it. This is, he was a Manchester United soccer player. His nose is kind of wide and big. But in the word is a snoop nose. Snoop nose. Snoop is like punta aguda, algo así. A snoop. No, snow is como chata. Ah, really? Chata, sí. No, let's eh, check. I I always check the dictionary because it gives me more idea. About I, I remember this because um, uh, I'm a friend. Uh, she's he uh, he told us this occur men have a snow nose in you. Why that does I mean snow nose? Huh? Yeah, you see, you see, it's no nose. Oh, okay. okay, it's chato. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. Yeah, insult and involves, yes. An insult that involves, guys, you can read it. An insult that involves. Ah, but this is not the, the what we are looking for. As the, no, it doesn't appear. But, uh, Jensi told us already, ya nos dijo, that is chat. Yes, chat. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you so. for that. Uh, what else? Uh, even. Even or regular teeth. Teeth, teeth which are. Strike. Strike. No problem on them, so you don't have to wear brackets. Crooked. Crook. Okay, the gear, right? The yeah. gear? Yeah. Rosy. Rosy check. Cheeks. Red cheeks. cheeks. Red cheeks. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Como uh, rosa, rosadas. Okay. And? The dimple or dimple? The dimples check. Dimples. Check the gear. What is dimples? When you get little hollows in your uh, checks or next to your mouth when you when you smile smile when you smile okay it's when they smile yes uh, yes Spanish is uh, ojuelos ojuelos 
Camananses. Camananses. Yes. This girl has, Yes. Yes, she is. Uh, she is no. She has dim. She, she has. has. Aquí no sería with the verb to be. It would be yes. with the structure have. She has. She has the impulse like that. All right. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So you can use those words uh, for the face. What about the hair? William, the hair? Describing hair. Long, curly hair, short, straight hair, fine hair. Fine hair equals it doesn't weigh very much versus things and heavy hair. Wavy equals between straight and curly. Losing your hair, going bald, equals when men start to lose their hair. A receding hairline equals when you lose your hair from your forehead. A redhead equals with red hair. Here, okay. Okay, sorry, just a moment. Okay. We are going to check the pictures better. How how do you prefer women, boys? How do you prefer women? Uh, I I love that long curly hair. Ah, okay. I love this. Okay, same same as me. My ex girlfriend has long curly hair. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You have short straight. Other options. Short straight hair. Short and straight, straight hair. hair. This is another beautiful hey. hairstyle. We are talking about hairstyle. Next. Wavy. Wavy. Hair. Wavy. Wavy is? Ondulado. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this <laughs> man. He's going, going bald. He's going bald. Says bald. that? Bald. 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 Yes, he's bald. going bald. Cuando quiera bald. decir. Ah, mira que él se está quedando calvo. In English, he's going bald. He better to be okay. He's going he's bald. Going, he's, yes, he's going, going bald. Do you uh, or you maybe you prefer uh, right hair girls? Yes, I'm beautiful. Yes. Yeah. I love this color hair. Hair color. Yeah. So it's pretty beautiful, but natural, yes. not painted. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> painted, no. Uh huh. Not painted, natural. Or artificial. Or artificial, that's another word, correct. Next. Receding. Uh, receding hairline. We see this type of hair uh, in men. He's a, he es prestamista. Ah, really? Se presta el pelo de la parte de atrás para adelante para cubrirse. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought that it was related only about money. Basically, it's not about money, but I know I see that. No, it means about hair. Okay, nice. Uh, this one, this hairstyle, fringe, 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 with this with this cut until the, the forehead in women. Correct. It's a pio. Or like this actor. Shave. 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 She Shave. has. Ah. Uh, shaved. Uh, Head. Yes. And the general Pony, ponytail. Ponytail, yes. Okay, pretty good. Ponytail. Nice, nice. Let's see. Uh, what else? Ah, this is pretty important as well. In the picture one, you can use the word freckles. freckles. What is freckles? The small. Freckles. Because. Like the small dots, correct, pecas. Yes, she has a lot of freckles on her face. What else? The next one. Skin tags. What is skin tags? When you describe someone and you like see... Like a... Like a... Well, I, I know this is correct, but in Spanish it is... Um, um, Berrugas? Oh, uh, no, lunares? 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 Lunares are moles. Moles. Uh, in this case, shintak? 
Okay, molds and is... no protuberant on the surface. No protuberant on the surface. The skin tag, yes. In the words, verrugas is words. In the skin tags, they are, they have protuberance. So they, oh. you can touch them and you can feel them on the surface of the skin. Eso sí se puede decir. Sí. Is, is, is similar uh, in Spanish manchas? Uh, no. Uh, skin no. tags is like, uh, like molds, but with protuberance. Son como no protuberance. Pero, ajá, pero son lunares de, de carne, people say. People say mm. lunares de carne because you can feel them. If you touch them or if you have some, you can feel them. Se pueden sentir, right? Mm -hmm. But molds, you can't. They are on the surface, but they are flat. They are oh. part of your skin. That is the difference. Yeah. All right? In words, Word. is verrugas. Yes, words. Mm -hmm. And they have protuberance on the skin okay. as well. Uh, these ones, they are spots, spots. spots pimples. Uh, pimples, pimples, or in other words, in the doctor acne. vocabulary, acne. acne. And you can feel them as well. In Spanish, people say granos, espinillas, etc. But in English, it's spots, pimples. Acne. Mm -hmm. And this one. Uh, wrinkles is uh, a rule. <laughs> yes. Like Mata in... de gallo. <laughs> really? I yeah. prefer wrinkles. 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 Yes. Wrinkles. Yes. Ah, okay. Nice. And the baby, the baby has a. Uh... Is uh, like. Um... Birth? Vermont. Birth, what is a birthmark? Do you have any birthmark on your body? It's when I have a say similar on most, but is the when mark uh, from the day that you were born? Yeah, correct. Right. I guess birthmark it, it, it's like um, in Spanish, this is um, una marca no. Mongolia, mongólica, so una marca de nacimiento. de nacimiento. Yes, correct. Okay, birthmark, correct. Okay, pretty good. Guys, uh, you have this vocabulary as well for using the using it uh, when describing people about the, the skin specifically. Okay, let's see what else. What else is next? Ah, okay. In, in these uh, three links, you have more vocabulary you can check. <clears throat> oh, it doesn't work. Really? The website was closed, maybe. Ah, that's weird. Let's check the second one. Ah, in this one, yes. Check. Appearance. Yeah, it's about appearance, people appearance. Number one. What is the the type? Match the words and the pictures. Picture um, one. Is a uh, Afro hairstyle. Afro hairstyle. Afro, yeah. Look at the style. Yes, Afro hairstyle. Yeah, pretty nice. Yes, Afro. Next. Is a uh, no right? Uh, no, is shave? No shave help? No. Ginger mm, hair? No. Fringe. Uh, which one? Fringe. Mm. Fringe. Dyed blue, dyed blue hair. Uh, fringe. Uh, I I don't don't no, you don't. Dyed yes, blue hair. hair. Okay, guide. Uh, yeah, correct. Dyed blue hair, because yes. Blue. Because the color of the, the, the hair is, yeah, correct. is the blue. Color is uh, specific. And, Yes. she? Number three? Um, mm -hmm. Ah, correct. Correct, correct. Uh, shaved head. In in women, I don't like this style. I don't know. 
Next. Hey, in this black. case, it's, 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 it's black. Equal. No, right? <laughs> yeah. No black. Uh, old. Old. Instead of old, in lugar de old, what else can you use? Ancient. But this is the word. Uh-huh. Ancient. Uh, pensioner, maybe. A uh, pensioner. Okay, correct. Oh, pensioner. Pensioner okay. or... Huh? What else? Remember, vocabulary. Pensioner. Yes, ancient elder. or ancients or pensioners. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. All we have. Let's see. What was uh, what was there? Adult, adult, old. young adult, senior, senior. Senior, yes. He's a senior. Correct. Okay. This girl. In Asian. No. Uh, uh, it doesn't it's appear. It's it should be a different word. Ah, but it can be about the hairstyle, not only about the appearance. Mm. Hairstyle. Back huh? hair. Check. Mm -hmm. Dark Anybody? hair. Dark. Yeah, because she has black hair. That hair. It might be. What I said, yes. Next, talk, talk, talk. Uh -huh. That's a very general talk. adjective. A pony, 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 hair. Blonde. Blonde hair, correct. And she? Red hair. Okay. Red hair. Another synonym of red hair. Finger hair. Finger hair. Ginger. Yes, this is another synonym of red hair. Ginger. You see? Ah, similar to the previous. Check. Junk. Look about the hair. It's talking junk. about the theory. For the age is the maybe age, a junk. Junk. Uh, okay. Junk. And all the shirt. In the, old, in the, short. the other was the oh, end is short. Tall and short, the opposite. That's it. Okay, pretty good. Uh, mm. Easy, right? Tall. Ah, really? Wow. Hey, tall. Tall. Hey, it, ah, no, yes. this is the one the tall. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was it. But no problem, no problem. Okay, uh, guys, you can check this vocabulary so you can use it. Uh, it's pretty useful. Okay, you can do this practice whenever you have time. The next link has uh, link number three, that is appearance band number two. It's the continuation of the number one. Check, more vocabulary you can check in this part. Okay, let's see. Uh, practice describing people. To describe people's appearance, we use two structures. The structure number one is Adjectives. 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 Examples. Emily is attractive. Emily is attractive. Emily ah. is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Emily is beautiful. Gorgeous. 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 What is gorgeous? gorgeous. Synonym. Yes. Attractive, beautiful, etc. And Emily is beautiful. Check. Very simple. Where to be an adjective. And the other structure. Verb help plus nouns. Plus nouns. Not adjectives. In these ones, you have to use nouns. Examples. Emily has plus long hair. Emily okay. has plus black eyes. E Emily has plus a brunette skin color. A brunette. Brunette. A brunette. A brunette skin color. Color. Brunette. You know the meaning? Brunette. Uh, Morena. Morena, Morena. Morena. Yeah, in the picture, she looks brunette. She yes, is brunette. brunette. Okay, so two instructors. Using adjectives, describe the next famous people. <laughs> the, Who rock. Is he? the rock. The rock. The rock. What can you say about is the rock using the whole vocabulary you have seen 
in the class. You can use verb to be or the verb have. Uh -huh. Describe the rock in appearance, in body shape, in skin color, in physical appearance. Describe him. Describe the rock. Um, uh, the rock is a uh, Afro American man. Uh, are you sure that he is is Afro American? He is yes. fit. Where is he from? Do you know? He's from the United Samoa. States. The Samoa. Ah, the Samoa. Yes, Samoa. but that's the region. Samoa. Yeah, Samoa is the country. Samoa, yes. yes. In Samoa, I think is a nationality. Yes. But he is, you can say, he is from Samoa. He's from Samoa. Correct. He's from Samoa, yes. What else? Describe, continue, guys, uh, describing the rock. What can you say about the rock? Look the, at the... the rock is tall and that yeah. other actor in Hollywood. Correct. He's pretty tall. Uh -huh. Y como digo que es musculoso, muy musculoso in English. There is muscle. <laughs> ah, it's, uh... There are two ways. I don't yes, know. there are two, yes. Uh... He has, with the verb have, he has big muscles. A big muscle. That is the normal. And the other one, esa es la, la primera. He has, with the verb have, he has... A uh, big muscles. And the other one with the verb to be. Ahí está. Verb have. And with the verb to be. Is muscle bound. Is muscle bound. This is an adjective. Verb to be adjective and the, with the verb have. Describe. Nouns. Remember that. <clears throat> that is the important part. With the verb have, you have to use nouns. nouns. All these two words. Those two words are nouns. La dos componen un noun. Big muscles. Big okay. muscles. But this one is a the adjective. Because the adjective. you are using it with the verb to be. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. What else? No more about the rock. Maybe about, you can write the sentences in the presentation, guy, no problem. Maybe you can describe hair. Mm. Do you know this actress? Yes. Who's she? <laughs> She's a, um, um, Hermione. Hermione. Ah, but Hermione. Yes, and the series the character Harry Potter. <laughs> in the Harry Potter I, movie. I oh, forget his name. Ah, maybe Emma, right? E Emma. Emma Watts. Yes. Yeah, Emma Watts. Okay, check. Describe her, please. Describe Emma. She is looking at you. <laughs> Waiting for you to describe here. She's blonde. Uh, yeah, she's she's blonde. She's blonde. But in in the hair, no, right? He has uh, skin. Uh, uh -huh. Como digo, tiene ella tiene pelo castaño. In she has hair brown. Yeah. Correct. Uh, she has brown she has hair. A brown hair. So it is not blonde. She's not blonde. No, it's blonde. No. Uh, ah, but when you say she is blonde, when you say so she's blonde, you mean that the whole body is blonde. Oh. No. You can describe the hair in the first place, on the second place the skin color because they are different from different how, how do you say hair cabello castaño uh brown brown, brown. Yes. yes hair brown correct brown. Right. brown okay and the skin the skin color maybe she's a little si le quiere poner uh, like decrease the the grade 
poner el grade un poco menos, no, no totalmente morena, right? Un poco, ¿cómo digo un poco morena? A little. She's she's a little. A little. Uh, Brunette. Yes. Brunette. When you say little, you decrease the, the, the grade of the word. Good. Very good, guys. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Guys, you can type your sentences on the on the pictures next to the pictures so you can practice the true structures with these famous people. Okay, that's it. No more time. Already nine o'clock. Thank you guys for joining to the class. See you tomorrow, Tuesday. Thank you. Bye. Thank you guys. Thank have you. a good night. Thank have you. a good night. Thank you very much for doing it. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. See you tomorrow, coach. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thanks.